Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to expand on this morning's top story. The climate zealots do not realize what they've done. And it's only a matter of time before this information is widely understood. So here's a detailed preview. This morning we shared Brian's tweet, and by the way, he is one of the great people to follow on Twitter. The video he shared was of a new kind of weather modification, not chemtrails or cloud seeding, direct electrification of the atmosphere. They literally discharge electrical energy out into the clouds, which causes enhanced rainfall even better than cloud seeding. Might as well fly up there and dump buckets of water. As I mentioned this morning and have many times before, I hate weather modification. It's not smart to try to play God in the sky. But at least this one doesn't dump poisonous chemicals into the air. And more importantly, it is the undoing of the climate narrative. They truly don't realize what they've done here. You see, the studies have already been done. They are just being ignored and swept under the rug by the mainstream. There are literally hundreds of statistical correlations and mechanistic forcing proofs of how the sun and cosmic rays impact precipitation and much more. They impact the air electrically in the same way as that weather modification by charged particle introduction, coupling with the solar wind, penetrating electric fields, forcing Van Allen electrons down into the atmosphere, protons directly intruding through the polar cusp and into the atmosphere, geomagnetically induced electric currents from solar storms, and equatorward traveling energy waves from the auroral excitement. Then, of course, the cosmic ray cascades, breaking out into millions of electric particles with the cosmic rays hitting every inch of the upper atmosphere every second. To recap that in list form, all these things introduce electricity to the atmosphere, just like the weather modification process we shared at the start of the video. Solar wind coupling, proton flux into the cusp, penetrating electric fields, geomagnetic induction of electric currents, and cosmic ray electric particle cascades. All of these simultaneously excite the global electric circuit vertical currents in the atmosphere. In fact, every space weather interaction with Earth impacts the electrical state of the atmosphere. This impacts rainfall in two ways. It amplifies the ambient electric state of the atmosphere, which is what that weather modification process does, but it also causes water vapor and dust to clump together and fall as rain while also creating electrified cloud condensation nuclei, which helps stick to the water vapor even more. This is why space weather impacts not only precipitation, but cloud cover, and therefore temperatures. It affects the pressure cells through that global electric circuit impact. The electrification impacts storms and lightning, and the electrical effect on water vapor and oxygen affects the winds and jet streams, all levels of the atmosphere. In case you haven't put this together yet, by recognizing that their electric jolt weather modification works, they have admitted that solar activity, the one they try to tell us isn't relevant to the weather, is absolutely relevant. They have admitted that their entire story of climate is premised on excluding key data, cherry picking to fit a political narrative. And with that out of the picture in the math and the models, they get to blame every ounce of space weather forcing on human pollution. It's not that pollution is good, it's just that poisoning our environment is a different story than atmospheric dynamic behavioral impact. Folks, it's still early for this science, and most have not put these pieces together. Those who have are mostly firmly bought into and committed to the narrative, and they're not talking. But now you know, and if you have understood this video and that they have admitted it, you can communicate it clearly to anyone. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.